Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I was sitting here doing uh, DIY. Um, loops with uh, metal D-rings for a belt and suspenders that I bought. Um, I like using Alice type gear, web gear, uh, the four inch pistol belts and either by themselves or with like these type of suspenders. And they have these little hooks on them the belt that I bought to go with those suspenders doesn't have the holes and what I intended to do was just hook these little D rings that I got off some dollar store um, dog collars because a dollar a piece for these was better than six or seven dollars for the right part because I thought these were snaps, and they're not. They're fake snaps. So I can't actually hook these up like that. So I'm making these, which will go over the belt, and then hook to the suspenders. And while I was making that one, I decided, why not make a video and show off my not-so-adept sewing skills. I'm making these three and a half. I already have my sewing needle threaded and ready to go because my eyes are not so good and I didn't want to spend three days trying to thread the needle. I'm making these all three and a half. If they're off just a tiny bit that's okay the suspenders are adjustable I just want to get them as close as I possibly can to be right around the exact same length None of this has to be super pretty, it just needs to be functional. So I don't really need to have the most outstanding stitches that a hand seamstress would have, seamster, whichever. I just need it to be functional and sturdy. Like I said, thread's blue, but I have a Sharpie. So, if I so choose, I can uh, stain the blue thread black to match up with the color of the pistol belt, duty belt, and the suspenders.
thinking that should be good enough. Going through one more time. Once I get this to tie down, I know there's better knots. Like I said, I'm not a seamster. Now, here's a little trick to get rid of this frayed stuff on the end here. I know there's videos about this as well. Just kind of cut this. Take a lighter. Just like you would melt the end of a piece of paracord. Melt that to keep it from fraying. And there you go. Just take these, slide them over the buckle, slide them on. Hook up your Alice suspenders. And there you go. All right. That's uh, how to do that. All right, there's two of them. I'm not going to bore you with the other two. I'm going to finish those up. And then, I don't know what. All right, there you go. DIY D loops to attach my suspenders to a belt. I do have web belts that it, I can just hook these up to, but the reason I needed a two inch belt like this is I've started to get some tools and knives that won't go on my four inch belt. Like for instance, the Gerber that I carry every day is a fixed blade and it's set up for a two inch belt and this was cheaper than trying to have custom sheaths made at $75, $80 a rip for $25, $30 knives. Alright, I'm going to finish this up. Thanks for watching.